All right, so let's get into the definitions and basics here. Now, I'm sure you all have a general idea of what visual effects is, but do you know what invisible visual effects are? What do they mean, invisible? Aren't all visual effects supposed to be invisible? Well, before I unveil the answer, in the next lesson, here are a few clues. Invisible visual effects basically can involve anything from dramatic alterations of landscapes, sets, and even actors in ways that are, and here comes a big hint, not so obvious in the finished film. Some examples of invisible visual effects can include face replacements of stunt drivers, set extensions of backdrops, set replacements in the footage, digital muzzle flashes, bullet hits on glass, <gasps> crowd simulations, CG people, CG babies, aging of actors, crew and camera reflection removals, driving shots, etc, etc. Basically, there's plenty plenty. Now, with that being said, just how exactly are invisible visual effects being used in film and TV? Well, as with the purpose of any other visual effects, they are essentially used to tell a story but do not call attention to themselves unlike the dinosaurs and transformers of the film world. In fact, you'll be surprised but the most innovative work tended to be the invisible visual effects. So, the purpose of this course is essentially to show you the other realistic side of the visual effects industry, the kind of work you usually get as a compositor, especially when you are just getting started. Also, it's nice to give these unnoticed visual effects heroes a little bit of attention since their efforts in telling and selling a story don't get nearly as much acknowledgement as the fancy schmancy visual effects you see every day. And yet, invisible visual effects are perhaps much harder to pull off successfully compared to the flashy CGI's. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, how about tackling this simple task? Post on the Q&A board your response to these questions. What do you think is invisible visual effects? And have you done any invisible visual effects compositing before? If you have, was it fun or just damn annoying? Go ahead, pause this video right now, and post on the Q&A board your responses to these questions. I respond to every post, so no voice will be unheard. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next lesson.